Hello everybody, my name is Anais and welcome to today's video. Today I want to bring you the word for the season of September. September. Crazy, we're here already. It's been an unbelievable year. It's been a year of tears, of trials, of struggles, of crazy things happening. But a lot of spiritual growth and God is doing amazing things in the heart of his people. So listen, this word I think is the best yet this year and I am so excited about it because when I was praying and when God put this to me, I was like, this is mine for sure. But you know, we've been through so much different things in family, in business, in work, in whatever. You know, everybody has gone through a lot of things so far. But like I always say in my videos, you need to keep your eyes focused on Jesus and you need to know spiritual things. You need to know kingdom and what God is saying and not what's going on around us and not moving in the flesh. Okay, so what's happening is the amazing word that God gave to me was it's the month of miracles, the month of turnaround, the month of the way maker. Now listen, where things have seemed so impossible to the human eyes, to you trying to do things, trying to force things, trying to fix things, trying to change things all by yourself, it doesn't happen, does it? The only way things can take place, even if things have gone wrong in your life, whichever way it may be, in business or your family or your marriage, whatever it is, or your children, it's only God that can turn things around if you release it to him. You see, if you try to do things for yourself, just say if somebody has betrayed you, somebody has come at you, somebody stole from you, somebody hurt you, and you try to get back, it's not going to work. It's just going to fall apart and God can't do anything because you've done it yourself. So what's happening is, once you release things to God, and I mean totally release, and that means if you have to forgive somebody, if you need to let go of something, if you need to stop pushing at things yourself, pushing the door and just leave it to God, this, brother and sister, is the month of the turnaround of the way maker. And what God is going to do, he's going to do an amazing miracle. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God is going to do in your life, if only you believe and walk by faith. So in Ephesians 3.20, God is able to do exceedingly above all that you ask or all that you even think, according to the power that works in us. What does according mean? According is the authority that is in you and that is in me. What does that mean as well? It means what we say. So when you ask God for something, when you ask God for something back, when you ask God to change things, when you ask God for help, do you ask him 50 times or do you ask him once and say it's done? That's the authority. That's you knowing the Father yourself. That's your relationship with him. When you say, Father, I ask you for this. So it's like when you go to somebody and you say, can I have a lend of this pen? And they say, yeah, sure take it, it's on the table, and you're like, can I have a lend of this pen? Can I please have a lend of this pen? Please give me the pen! And you're saying, it's, it's on the table. You know, so that's like God. So when we ask him for something, sometimes it takes a while, sometimes you need to be patient. Sometimes you have to walk by faith, all the times you have to walk by faith. But he's doing things behind the scenes, things in areas, things in people's hearts, uh, the desires of your heart. And I think last month's word was the desire of your heart but this this is where things begin to take place this is where your dreams unfold things that you have always desired about to, to take place god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think so when you ask god something because he loves you so much he's going to do it and god's word does not return by it so if you've been given a prophetic, prophetic word years and years ago last year whatever it is it's going to take place but also changes as well. It's a new season. It's a new shift. I keep saying that all the time. We're in a new time um, spiritually. So our God is the way maker. Our God can move things, shake things, change things. He is an amazing God. So miracles turn around and the way maker. 
So this is the scripture that he gave me is in Isaiah 43. And as soon as this came to me, I was just, thank you. Thank you. So Isaiah 43, 15. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, which makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, which brings forth the chariot and horse, the army, the power, shall lie down together, they shall not rise, they are extinct, they are quenched as tall. Remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I do a new thing. It shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I will make the way. God is the, is the way maker. He's making the way. Just say, thank you. Thank you, God. It's mine. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. So it's done. You just have to believe this. Also, very strongly, we need to pray for the leaders um, in the body of Christ. We need to cover them in prayer. We need to cover each other. Lift up your family. Pray for those who are lost. Don't bash them. Lead people to Christ. Share the love of God with people. Walk in love. And also in the governments and all the elections all around that are taking place, you need to stand on the side of God. Don't be on the wrong side. Cover your leaders. Cover your presidents, the kings, all of these things. And God is going to do amazing things. I'm excited about September. I'm excited. We only have four months left. And the things that God is going to do is going to blow your mind. You just need to believe. So amazing things. You just need to believe this. Don't look at what is around you at all. Don't look at it. You need to see it. You need to see yourself there and give God praise and give God thanks. So that is the word, an amazing word, the best yet for September. Thank you, Jesus. So Heavenly Father, God, we receive this word. I seal it by your blood, Jesus. Lord, I declare and decree this word done, Lord. For me and for your people, your sons and for your daughters, Lord. Let it take place, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you that you're the way maker. You're the miracle worker. There's nothing impossible for you. There is nothing too hard for you. You are the almighty God. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are amazing. You are awesome. And we worship you and we give you praise. And we thank you, God, for what you are doing for your people. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Have the most amazing September. God bless you. I will see you again soon.